up, you guys? My name is Mary. I'm with High Priestess Intuition. Welcome, my Christmas cards, and welcome, 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 newbies. Um, this is bi-weekly bi reading for um, mid-June to end of June. I got like uh, 1.75 messages um, for Santa Leo, so let me go ahead and share those. Um, the first one, um, I heard help is coming, and then I heard and lots of it, like 10 or 15 seconds after that. Um, and then, like, five or ten seconds after that, I heard for some. So, help is coming and lots of it for some is how I take that. But you take it how it resonates. Help is coming and lots of it for some. So, you take it how it resonates. Uh, don't forget the basics. Time is fluid. Energy is fluid. If it doesn't apply, apply it. Ooh, I can't speak. doesn't apply that it fly. Everyone has free will. Only pick the messages that resonate with you. This is um, a free general reading for the sign of um, Leo. This can resonate if you have Leo in any aspects of your charts. Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, North Node, Midhaven, or Jupiter charts. Um, it's a free general reading, so you only take the messages that resonate with you. Just saying, just saying, saying. Um, I was going to tell you guys real quick before we get deep into this. Um, first of all, I will not be on here June 24th. I will not be on here, okay? Um, because I got a certified letter in the mail yesterday. Uh, from the Secretary of State Office in from the state of Tennessee. Um, I've got a court hearing on June 24th. Um, my, apparently, uh, they mailed me copies of the paperwork. Uh, apparently, my ex-husband tried to file an um, emergency protection order against me um, beginning of May. Um, said I had a gun. He said that um, he's seen me with the gun. He's fearing for his life and all this crazy stuff. So um, there's a court hearing scheduled for June 24th through the Secretary of State, um, State of Tennessee's office for that. So um, I've got to go to that. And the second thing is, um, for those of you that don't know, um, I am officially um, put in my two-week notice for my full-time job. And um, my last day was originally June 22nd, but um, my boss wants me to stay till June 30th. So I agreed to that. So my last full-time day will be June 30th of 2021. Um, and um, I'm going to do this full-time. I will still stay on PRN, but I will do this full-time. So uh, because my channel's growing, growing, growing. It is. And you guys are just the bomb.com. I have the best subs in the whole wide world. I really do. I want to thank everybody for their lo um, love and support. I just throwing that out there. I'm serious as a heart attack about that. But to continue to make it grow the way I want to, because I want to do other channels like travel channel, cooking channel, um, all kinds of things. Um, I can't do that if I'm spending 36 to 40 ish hours of my time every week, not here. So, um, and it will give me the freedom and flexibility with my children, um, not having to fly to get my son to school on time in the morning times after getting off work, um, just as an example. And it would give me more um, financial flexibility down the down the line. So um, it just makes more sense. So um, I'm, I'm going to do it. So um, you guys are just the best. You're the best. Um, and I couldn't do this without you. So if you wouldn't mind, just keep sharing. Um, like, subscribing, and sharing, um, and the word of mouth in my videos, and my site, and my channel. I really, really, really appreciate it. Okay, you guys, well, let's get started. So, um, help is on the way for, um, or help is coming for some of you guys um, soon, apparently. So, that's beautiful. That's beautiful energy. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful energy. Just saying. But I wanted to um, update you guys on that real quick because it's really big changes um, coming up. So, just saying. Okay, justice upright, the sun reversed. A particular Leo is about to get lots of justice in a situation. They were made very, very miserable in the past by many people. Karma is cycling around for those people. You keep doing what you need to do. Okay, so you take it out of resonance in your own life. Um, I heard a uh, particular Leo is about to get lots of justice in a particular situation. It sounds like a particular situation of the past. Um, I heard a spirit message in that to basically keep doing what you need to do and basically don't focus on others like gossip gales or um, sex star Sally or whoever the hell that is, you know, whoever. Um, 
you know, is trying to gain your attention. Um, you focus on you, growing and manifesting you into the best version of yourself you possibly can be. And because um, I heard it was involving your happiness in the past. So several people, I heard several people. So several people were trying to steal your happiness in the past. Um, so that's why the sun's reverse. Um, you were very unhappy in the past. Um, things are going to start getting better. They really are. Okay, I heard things are going to start getting better. They really are. So um, that's wonderful. That's confirmation. So things are going to start getting better. Um, I heard negative karma is coming for these people. So the people that try to make you very miserable in the past, heard negative karma is coming, cycling around for them. So um, it sounds like you're going to get universal justice um, for, um, for you guys, whoever this resonates with. Some actual judicial justice. It will be shocking to some of these people. Okay, I heard some of you guys, you will actually get judicial justice. It will be shocking to some of these people. So you take it out, resonates. Wow, that's wonderful. So some of you guys are going to get universal justice in a situation um, because of the negative karma cycling around to the people that basically try to make you miserable. Now, it could have been a hate crime. It could have been gang stalking. It could have been... Um, mean mean just meanness and bitterness and jealousy i mean you take it out resonates and i heard some of you guys are going to actually get judicial ju actual judicial justice i heard it's going to be shocking for uh, some of these people that you're going to get judicial justice um so you take it out resonates we have justice upright uh sun reverse and this is your energy leo leo energy okay. spirit messages do you have for some sun leo And I was going to say, um, too, with that other one, you could, for some, you could be dealing with the Libra, possibly, because we have the Justice card, that's Libra energy, or not. If you are, they can have Libra in the Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, Ortho, Midhaven, Jupiter charts. All right. Six. Um, Ada, Cups, Reverse. I have to look that one up. Oh. I need my phone. Hold on one second. I got to get my phone. Okay, so sorry, you guys. Listen to your heart about your next course of action. Others may have an opinion, but it comes down to what you decide. Okay, so um, listen to your heart about your next course of action. Others may have an opinion, but it's up to you um, what you decide, what course you decide, basically. And then seven and the source of ours. A particular Leo is about to learn some serious truth from someone they never expected. Once you learn this truth, really decide in your heart what your next course of action needs to be. Okay, so you take it out. Resonates. I heard a particular Leo is about to learn some um, some serious truth um, from someone they never expected to deliver them the serious truth, basically. Um, and... Uh, once you learn this truth, Leo, I heard basically um, take the information that's provided to you and basically um, move however you feel you need to move in your heart and with your best intuition. So um, you take the information, you basically run with it and do what you feel like you need to do. But you need to use your best judgment and intuition and discernment with that information. So I'm thinking um, this is you deciding what of course you need to take with the information and this is the information 
uh, because up, upright is lying, cheating, thieving, but it's reversed. So it's, I think it's secrets coming out about some kind of lying, cheating, and thieving for you. Is exactly what I'm thinking. It could be one of those things or all those things because it's lying, cheating, thieving card. Take it out, resonates. Okay. Spirit messages you have, Salia. A particular Leo is about to be very, very, very pissed. A brand new financial investment is about to be ruined. Negative karma from the past. Whoa, holy crap. Wow. Okay, so you take it out. Resonates. Man, I heard a particular Leo is about to be pissed. Um, I heard a brand new financial investment that um, sounds like this Leo is bought or has been gifted to them in some type of way. I heard a brand new financial investment. So whatever that is, it could be, um, sounds expensive if you ask me. It sounds like it could be a home, a car, an expensive a piece of equipment or um, maybe a piece of artwork or something of that nature. Uh, whether you bought it or someone gifted it to you, I heard it's about to basically be ruined. Ruined. Um, I heard you're going to be very pissed about it, but I heard it's going to be negative karma from the past. So you take it out, it resonates in your own life. Some kind of new expensive something that either you bought or was gifted to you. King, uh, Knight of Pentacles upright, King of Swords upright. Two energies, very significant energies are about to come towards the Leo very soon. Both of these people, masculine energies, both delivering lots of truth and clarity. Both wanting the same end game in this. Use your best discernment and judgment. Okay, so you check it out. Resonates. Okay, Leo. Um, I heard um, whoever this resonates with, I heard there's going to be two masculine energies coming towards you very soon. So, um, you know, nine can be fem or masculine, but I heard it here it's masculine. So two masculines. Um, they're going to come towards you soon. Um, I heard both are going to deliver you lots of truth, honesty, and clarity, which um, that's truth and honesty are the same thing. So honesty and clarity, um, it could be on the same thing. It could be on different things. You take it out resonates, but, um, but it's going to be truth and clarity, whatever it is they're delivering, whatever information they're delivering you. But I heard they both have the same end game. Um, so basically choose wisely. So um, both romantically interested. You, you know this. Okay, I heard both romantically interested and you know this. So both of these people are both romantically interested in you and you know this. So you take it out, resonates. So the Knight of Pentacles upright. So um, one could be possibly a um, earth sign and one could possibly be an air sign um, or not. Um, because that's how the energies are showing up. One's showing up as a knight though. So if it... Um, one is an earth sign, one is an air sign for some, one is an earth sign, and one is a water sign for some. Okay, I heard one is an earth sign and one is an air sign for some of you guys. So one's an earth sign and one's an air sign, and one's an earth sign and one's a water sign for some. So you take it out, it resonates. Now, earth signs are Taurus, Capricorn, Virgo. They could have Taurus, Capricorn, and Virgo in their sun, moon, rising, Venus, ortho, midhaven, or Jupiter charts. And um, air signs are Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. They can have Gemini, Libra, Aquarius in their sun, moon, rising, Venus, North, and Midhaven, or Jupiter charts. And some are um, in the water signs are Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. They can have uh, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio in their sun, moon, rising, Venus, North, and Midhaven, or Jupiter. Um, I heard some of you guys, it's a water sign, and some it's an earth sign, and some it's an earth sign, and some it's an air sign. So you take it out, it resonates. But however that resonates, one of them is coming up as a night. So flighty player in and out energy. So um, it's not the most, it's not a very stable, grounded energy. I'll tell you that. It's the second to the lowest in the vibrations of the Tarot. So they're coming off very low vibrational 
it goes page, knight, king, and queen, emperor, empress, high priestess. So they're the knight energy. It's probably like a player energy is my assumption. They're very, they, they're probably a player, a huge ass player, um, and not very dependable. They're coming up as a uh, upright, but they're coming up upright as a knight energy. So, you know, like I hit it and I'm very stable and reliable. I'll hit it and quit it with you all night long, but then I'm, I'm flighty and player and moving back out. Um, Night energies usually are indicative of like young adults, um, like young adult energy or an older, ment uh, an older, physically older person that mentally acts like a younger person. Um, and the other one's coming up as a king energy. So very mature, very uh, mature and um, um, tells it how it is. No drama, no BS, no he said, she said. Very mature energy. Um, like I said, it's page, night king and queen, emperor, empress, high priestess. So second to the highest of the highest vibrations. So very high vibrational, the other energy is. I heard you use your best discernment. They're both in it for the same end game and you need to use your best discernment. So hopefully you can discern between um, these two fo these two masculine energies. Who are, You can be masculine or feminine, you take it out, resonates. But hopefully you can discern between these two masculine energies when they come towards you. I think they're both romantically interested in you, for sure, for sure, for sure. Either that or they're trying to gain some kind of, um, well, I heard they're going to deliver you truth, honesty, and clarity. So they're doing it for a reason, though. It's I think it might be romantically interested. I heard you know they're both... Um, that they both are romantically interested in you. So I'm thinking they are. So I'm just saying. Okay. Oracle card time. Oracle card time. Spiral messages you have for us, Alia. And another very significant masculine energy is going to come towards a very significant Leo soon. Not romantically interested, just truly is going to make this right. Okay. Okay. A lot of people come towards you, Leo. Um, I heard and another particular masculine energy is about to come towards you not romantically interested but wants to make it right so wants to make a situation right in some type of way and they're not romantically interested in you high vibrational energy down okay i heard they're a high vibrational energy down so they are maybe they were not high vibrational in the past but it sounds like they are now um but i heard they want to make things right so i'm thinking of a particular situation they want to make right um maybe you were wronged in it i'm thinking for some of you it you um it was it's this, the other particular masculine energy that's going to come towards you. Hope you get justice. That's what I'm thinking. But you take out resonates. Spirit messages you have for San Leo. And if you wouldn't mind liking, subscribing, sharing, spreading word of mouth, my channel. I so, so, so appreciate it, you guys. I'm so serious. Number 10 or 23 might be very significant to someone. 10 or 23. Assurance. A particular Leo is really going out on a limb, taking a huge risk soon. For some, it will be very well worth it. Very well worth it. For some, you're being mean, aggressive, and nasty, and karma will come back for you. Okay, whoa, so you take it out resonates, holy crap. Um, Whoever this resonates with, I heard uh, we have the assurance card. I heard um, some of you, some of you Leos are basically about to go out on a very, take a very risky risk, basically. Um, and you're very unsure about it is what it sounds like for some of you guys. 
Um, but I heard it's going to be very, very well worth it. Just basically keep your head in the game. Um, you know, keep doing what you need to do. Work hard. Um, you know, do whatever you need to do to make this turn out well. Um, for some, I'm struggling thinking it could be a financial risk. Um, and for some, it could be like job changing um, or career changing or something of that nature. Or it could be going back to school. You take it out resonates but uh yeah the assurance card so assuring that everything will be okay if you just basically do what you need to do but for others i heard you're about to basically take a huge risk but it's very very impulsive that whoever whatever leo this is resonating with you're very mean nasty and aggressive and um it's basically going to come back karma is going to come back and bite you in the ass in a huge negative way um, because you're being putting such nastiness out to the universe. Um, so I'm in this case, I'm thinking the assurance will be that negative karma will come back and bite you in the ass. Um, you take it out resonates. So however you're being mean, nasty, and aggressive, I mean, I, I don't, maybe it's domestic violence, maybe it's um, uh, stealing from somebody, maybe it's, um, hate crimes maybe it's gang stalking i mean i don't know you take it out resonates uh number 23 communion a particular leo has been communicating with one particular individual through telepathic communication It has been very effective. Okay. I heard one particular uh, Leo has really been tele uh, telepathically communicating with um, one particular individual, and I heard it's been um, very effective. So you take out resonates with the communion card, which is basically telepathically communicating with this individual. Um, Telepathically communicating for people that don't know is basically like astral projecting. So um, it's in the spiritual realm. So you're putting the energy out. Um, like I'm clear audience, so I can hear. Um, some people are clear um, buoyant; they can see the visions. Um, I've only had visions ever one day in my life ever, and it wasn't a very pretty one. Um, and I'm glad I haven't had them since. And I'm so serious about that. But um, I like the clear audience. Um, but um, anyways, um, I heard you're, you're telepathically communicating. So you are astro traveling and you are communicating. And apparently it is getting to this person, whoever this is. It's going to really be very helpful soon to you leo and the other individual gloves are off now okay i heard it's gonna be very helpful to you leo i heard you leo so you leo and um the other individual the gloves are off now so the gloves are off now and um so the game's changed, the gloves are off, and the astro um, travel communi telepathic communication you're having with this one particular other individual, um, I heard it's been effective in the past, but it's really about to really pay off, it sounds like, soon. And that's beautiful. Uh, it sounds like for both of you guys. Um, so we have the communion, communion card. Uh, loss. A particular Leo is about to lose money soon. Some, a lot of it because of negative karma in the past. Some temporarily losing at the beginning and then gaining, gaining, gaining. Keep steadfast for the stable, grounded, dependable Leo. Okay, so you take it out resonates. One very irrational Leo, one very stable, grounded, reliable, dependable Leo. Irrational and angry. Oh, 
Okay, so you take it out resonating. So I'm picking up two Leos in here. One Leo that's very stable, unstable, irrational, and angry. And one that's very stable, grounded, and reliable. Um, you take it out resonates. But um, however that resonates, I heard, it sounds like the one that was very angry, irrational, and um, impulsive um, is about to lose, I heard, a lot of money. A lot, a lot, a lot of money. Um, and it sounds like it's going to be soon. And it's going to make them very, very pissy. Um, but then we're picking up another one that's about to lose money soon, um, lose some money soon. I heard they're going to lose. They're going to go down. They're going to lose some money, but I heard it's going to pick up. So, um, but pick up shortly after that. So they're going to lose, they're going to lose. Um, but it sounds like things are going to balance out because they're going to lose, 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 but then it's going to pick back up. So it sounds like things are going to balance out back out. This, I think strongly think that second group of Leos for whoever that resonates with, the one that where you're going to lose, 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 and then pick back up. Um, I strongly think you're the one that's about to go out on financial limb. Um, I strongly, strongly do this one. Um, well, no. The one where you're about to go out on financial limb. I think that was a spirit message in here. Um, and you're about to go out on financial limb and basically take a risk. Take a risk um, to better yourself and your children if you have them and your lifestyle. Because, um, you know, sometimes you do. Sometimes you have to take those kind of risks to um, to really um, better your lifestyle and your kid's lifestyle and your lifestyle if if um, if you have children that depend on you. Um, you take it out resonates. All right, let's see if I have anything else. A particular Leo, older Leo, is really having serious mental health issues and medical issues for some. Very serious. A shocking turn of events is going to happen soon with this Leo. Will shock many. Okay, whoa, so you take it out resonates. So we have an older Leo in here. Now, whatever older is, um, usually in the tarot, older is denoted as 40 or above. But, um, you know, you really take it, plug it in your life, how it resonates. Um, but whoever this older Leo is, I heard um, they're having mental health and medical issues for some of them. So some they could just be having medical, some just be having mental health, some having both. But I heard it's basically getting worse and a shocking turn of events is going to um occur with this older Leo soon and um, shock many in a negative way in a negative way is what I just heard so it's going to shock many in a negative way um, so you just take them just can't handle it is what I just heard just can't handle it just can't handle it so this older Leo just can't handle it whatever in the world they can't handle so um, I hope in here, um, I heard a shocking negative turn of events is going to happen to this older Leo and they just can't handle it. So hopefully they don't take their own life. I mean, I hate to say that, but um, that's kind of what I'm feeling in here because if you're having, they're having me medical and mental health issues um, and they just can't handle it, you know, I hope they don't decide to try to, you know, end it for themselves. I truly hope that. I, I mean, I truly hope not. Sorry, I truly hope not. Um, but, um, whatever just can't handle it means to this older Leo, I guess I should say, um, that's strong energy, that's strong energy. And I feel as I was getting that message, I felt a sense of grief come over me, grief. And we have had a lot and we had the loss card. So maybe this person might pass away. Possibly is my thoughts on this. I'm just being pro pro with you. Um, that's my thoughts, but maybe, or maybe not, I don't know. Um, you take it out, resonates in your own life, but I did have this overwhelming sense of grief. Um, we've had a lot of death energy in here lately. A lot, a lot, a lot, a lot. And, you know, when I did that reading, um, about three or four weeks ago, when I heard the deaths were going to start coming because black magic had been released into the universe, um, because, um, someone was performing magic in the uh, black magic in the secret seven home and now it's released into the universe um the next day i got notified of actually three deaths that next day three deaths for people i know connected to me in my own 3d life and one of them um she was a child 
when I knew her. She was a child. She was barely an adult when she passed away. Barely. A baby. A baby, you guys. A baby. A baby. And I grew, she grew up with, I mean, like, I was the adult in her life. And I took her to pizza parties and skating, and she hung out with me. We had a picture. We took it together at the courthouse in Huntsville. And, I mean, she was wonderful as a kid, but she was one of the ones that passed away. And then I heard, like, a week ago that more, more string of deaths were going to start happening. And then I got a death message in, I think, today's or yesterday's Daily Tea. So, I mean, a lot of death energy coming, a lot, a lot, a lot. Um, it's really sad, but it's what we're getting in here i mean it's just what we're getting and i can't you know i can't help what's coming from the spirit world i just can't so um you take it out resonates all right you guys i love you guys so much everybody make wonderful choices let me see if i hear anything else a particular leo is about to get a very shocking large amount of money soon very shocking they will be very happy it's a long time coming to them okay i heard a particular leo is about to get a very shocking large amount of money coming to them soon i heard um it basically has been a long time coming to them um but it hasn't come yet is what it sounds like but it's about to come to them soon um and that's that's great that's great for at least one of you guys that's wonderful all right, you guys, we're done. We're over 30 minutes. You guys have been the longest so far. Um, I hope this helped. Um, everybody make wonderful choices. And um, I love you guys so much. And like I said, the 30th of June is my last day uh, of full-time work. So just letting you guys know. And then I'm going here full-time. I'm so excited. I'm so excited. Ooh, I just can't hide it. Ooh, just saying. Love y'all. Make wonderful choices. Namaste.